One question we've been asked a lot is, how do I get more than one design on the screen? Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com, and we are working through all the Singer video tutorials for the 9180 sewing and embroidery machine. And I have actually learned a lot of what features and functions. And this was one that I had to kind of like search for and then do a couple times to realize that it's right there at my fingertips, but in an order I need to always keep in mind to do. For example, if you wanna do a design and then add some lettering to it, or maybe you're making a quilt label and you're doing a name and then underneath it a date and then underneath that uh, a little quote, you will need to kind of put those in separately so each time you do it, you need the first design to stay on screen while you're typing the second one out and then adding it to it and so forth. So here's what's gonna happen if you don't do this in the right order. So we bring in a design. Now I wanna add some lettering. If you touch lettering, and I'm gonna just do a quick A, B, C, and the green check mark, well, there's no design. It's only lettering. Here's the trick. Bring in your first design. Let's go ahead and leave the ABC on the screen now. Touch right here where there's kind of a circle and a square inside a square. That's kind of the symbol for group or ungroup. So I feel like if I, when I touch it, it is going to allow more than one thing to go to the screen. So let's go ahead and touch the flower and touch a design. Now, did you notice that it put it right on top of my other one? But keep in mind, as soon as we touch the edit tool, we can come in here and move it off the top of the design. It's underneath there, but we just can't see it. Come down to the ungroup option down here. So same similar feature. And now you can see that there is lettering and a design separate. So you can touch and whichever one is highlighted, that's the one that will actually move or rotate, whichever you wanna do. But as soon as you touch the other one, then that's the one active. If you want them all selected, so I know one of them's kind of sideways there, but that's okay. If they're both selected, they're both pretty colors, they will move as a group. Okay, so once you get them like perfect, but now you want them a little bit more over to one side or to the other, or maybe down because you decided to add something else at the top, this would be how you can do it. You can now go back out, go back out to the flower. This is gray, so it still knows that I'm gonna be adding to it. And we can go, so you can see the design before we even, G-H-I, <laughs> there we go. And then we can move that around as well. So we can see where we want things to be and have as many objects on screen that will fit. Now, if you've got some smaller designs, maybe some small patches or some small lace designs you're doing, this is a great function to also use where you could say put six designs on, a, on the screen because you can, they fit, they're small enough. And then instead of um, doing one at a time, you can just stitch them all out at once. And if you do want to save this design, go back over to the editing and look for the little save feature and you can save this to the machine so you could stitch it out, say tomorrow, if today was your prep day, tomorrow's your embroidery day, it's all ready to go, but it will save it to your machine and then you can pull it up right here in your folder and it'll be waiting for you for any time you wanna stitch that combo design out. If this has been helpful, make sure you click the like button every time you watch one of our videos. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our online courses that we have designed for owners of the Singer 9180. You'll find those links in the description below.